Hello everyone. Today we are talking about raising our standards. So even the cup of coffee that you drink every morning, that worn out pair of jeans that you probably should have gotten rid of two years ago, or just that lotion that makes you feel really luxurious. I want to talk about just what, where your standards are, where your baseline is, and how we can raise that. Well, the park suddenly became crowded as soon as I started shooting this video. Like, where did all these people come from? Didn't they know I was going to be there? Anyway, today I ask you to remember the tiny luxuries and the big boundaries in life that everyone should decide for themselves. And I'm going to give you some journaling prompts to help you remember to raise your standards. After we finish our journaling prompts, I'm going to share some good news with you and we will work on our weekly spreads. How does that sound? And if this is your first time watching my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alicia Lott, and this channel is for those of you who like bullet journaling that is messy, minimalist, and low budget. And for those of you who use journaling for mental health and growth and feelings and stuff. Now, please tell me I'm not the only one here, but I always have a little voice in my head that tells me, hey, don't throw that spaghetti sauce jar away. You could use that for something. Or why do you need a $60 calendar stamp for your journal? Can't you just fill in the calendar by hand? Or what's the harm on, in going on date number two with, or three or five with that guy if he's nice and to you and respectful? Don't be so picky. That word picky gets me in the feelings every time but if there are no clear standards or boundaries or values or whatever you want to call them in your life then it would be very easy to just accept whatever's in front of you whether that's the best thing for you or not nothing stands out and nothing is special or truly worth your time like what about the way you keep your house what about the food you eat what about your job? What about your relationships? Do you feel that your standards are too high or too low? So for each of our journaling prompts, please feel free to pause the video for a few minutes. I think between two minutes to five minutes is good to write your response. And there are no right or wrong answers here. Just pick up your pen, let it do what it do. Our first journaling prompt is, what is one thing in your home that has been annoying the shit out of you, but that you've been tolerating because somehow it still works for you? Maybe it's clothing on the floor, or maybe something's just not working right. So I want you to write that down and think of one step you can make this week toward fixing or cleaning or getting rid of that thing. And I promise you, you will feel so much better when you do. Then the next few prompts are going to be affirmations as well. So that'll give you something to put on your bathroom mirror or maybe the lock screen on your phone. Our next journaling prompt is, I would like you to write about an area in your life where you've been accepting less than what you deserve. What's one reason why you continue to accept this thing? And then our affirmation for this is going to be in my work relationships, my food or my self care, I will start, maybe it's in my job, I will start asking for more money. I will start eating better at home. And our next prompt is, Think about a time when you settled for something just because it was convenient. How did that make you feel? And our affirmation for this is next time I will choose. I will choose a healthier meal. I will choose a better thing to watch on television. Next prompt is, What's one small luxury or indulgence you've been avoiding, but deep down, you know you deserve? Maybe it's a massage or a special trip that you've been wanting to take. Write it down. 
And our prompt is, I deserve to treat myself to... And our next prompt is, I want you to write down three things that you will no longer tolerate or allow into your life. And our affirmation here is, I will no longer. I will no longer allow clothing to be left on the floor. I will no longer go more than two days without exercise. I will no longer buy that crappy coffee in the plastic tub at the grocery store. I will no longer watch this Netflix show because it was good in the beginning, but then it truly went downhill after season three. I will no longer go a day without writing in my journal. Hmm. And another prompt I always like to ask myself, it's kind of my default when I don't know what else to write, is what do you want? What do you want out of life? What do you want your standards to be? What do you want your relationships and your diet and your exercise regimen and all of those things? What would you like those to look like? Go ahead and write that down. Make some lists. Start to think about where you can set the bar for yourself with your standards. Those were our prompts for today. I hope they were helpful for you and I hope that they gave you some things to think about and I hope that this is a good time for you to consider liking this video if you liked it so far and subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more. But you don't want to hear about all that. Let's go to our quote of the week and then our weekly spread later on with better audio. Okay, and here we have our quote of the week. My back section of my journal is all filled up. That makes me so happy. So yeah, this turned out well with the swirlies. Uh, but our quote of the week is, where do we start? It is, anytime you sincerely want to make a change, the first thing you must do is raise your standards. And that is Tony Robbins. And this is my bullet journal. This is the current week. Uh, I think the week has been going very well. I have so much news to share with you guys. Uh, first, my intention of the week from this past Sunday, I think it did help me to just be more mindful of the negative things that I say to myself. My last video was about uh, negative self-talk and we had journaling prompts about how to mitigate that or at least make it a little less. It's probably never going to go away. So I but hope that you have been working on that as well and just just uh, being a little nicer to yourself. Jonica7510 left me a comment. I was complaining about my Sharpie highlighters. I can't even find the highlighter now. <laughs> I've, I've given up on it. It's dead to me. Uh, but I had been complaining that the Sharpie highlighters are, they fade over not even, even two, two to three days later, they start to look like this. Whereas when I first put them down, they're a bright pink and it's very motivating. It's like, yes, you're going to do that thing. And then two, three days later, it's it's just faded. And you can almost, it's, it's difficult to even see. Uh, so she recommended the mild liner highlighters. Uh, the colors aren't as bright. Um, they are more of kind of just softer colors. Uh, but here's an example of one uh, that I did. And it's actually, I believe it's this color. If I'm not mistaken, uh, but yes, the the colors are lasting much longer than the Sharpie markers colors did. So I am I'm happy with these so far. Uh, this is not sponsored or paid or anything. I don't have an affiliate link. I'm just letting you know someone put me onto these. I wanted to share this with you. If you're looking for some different highlighters to put in your journal, uh, I like to use highlighters. Yeah, just to remind me, remind myself to do things to help things stand out in my to-do list or just sometimes I like to doodle with them. Mm. So I, rec I like these so far. I gotta say, I, that's part of why I like having a YouTube channel is like these, I, I first off, I have other people to discuss. What is that? 
<laughs> I have other people to discuss this kind of stuff with. It's like, okay, all of you from the farthest reaches of the globe, we can discuss highlighters. And then I just learned so much because before to me, highlighters were just that Sharpie marker and I never really uh, ventured out and I didn't think about it. See, now I'm raising my standards as far as highlighters and what I, what I accept, what I don't accept for things that I mark things in my journal. Uh, and one of my other commenters, Planes y Diarios, Hello. Uh, she she wrote a nice thing about highlighters as well. She just said that uh, versus the bright ones that I was using, these or maybe pastels are they they aren't as in your face. They don't kind of scream at you. They give you kind of that soft life feeling and they're a little more soothing, a little more pleasing to the eye uh, than than the little Sharpie that I've been using. So, you know, maybe with your journal, you don't want to get that deep. You don't, you don't, you just are happy to use whichever highlighter you have lying around and that is totally fine as well. I'm not trying to say that anyone has to use any specific highlighter, but you know, if, if for the tools that you use in your journal every day, I am definitely an advocate of, I don't know, put these away, but I'm definitely an advocate of just finding what you like and what works for you and what makes you happy and what doesn't cause stress either. <laughs> Visually, sometimes things might be too bright for you and they might make you feel some kind of way when you look at them. So think about those things when you open your journal up, you know? So not that highlighters aren't amazing, but I did have some other news that I wanted to share with you because this is my quarterly goal and it is very plain <laughs> simply to quit my shitty job and figure out what to do instead. So I have news. As of yesterday, I have accomplished this goal. I have left this job. Yesterday was my last day. Yeah. Yes, I cannot tell you all how good it felt to take that last call and it was not a good call either. So it was like, oh, you're just, <laughs> you are just, if I had any doubt about whether I wanted to stay or not, you know, like this just confirms everything. And yes, I need to leave. So just taking that last call, saying goodbye to everyone and just shutting that laptop and I will never. at least two or three months ago, I'm gonna say two months ago, I just spruced up my LinkedIn profile. All I did was just change a few words around, boop, boop, boop. I changed the title that I wanted, things like that. Just very minor changes. I didn't really go crazy. Then I didn't touch it ever. <laughs> I didn't touch it. I didn't talk to anybody. I don't like LinkedIn. It's not a place that I visit every day or even barely once a week. I just kind of left it alone. So then the week of September 20th or so, someone did uh, write to me on LinkedIn and they said, hey Alicia, we have this position for you. Uh, we think you'd be great for it. <laughs> da -da -da. Okay, great. Then um, yeah, we get to talking, I speak to someone on the phone, we set up an interview. The interview was for later the week of the 23rd, I believe. So by that point, so talk to them before I wrote this as my goal. And then I <laughs> didn't know what was gonna happen. I historically don't do well in job interviews. Between those two points, I wrote, hey, you know what? No matter what happens, I am leaving that job. I will figure something out. And then I got the interview later that week and everything went well and I got the job. So my one year anniversary was coming up and I said, if I have to work a minute past my one year anniversary, I will lose it. So I ended up, uh, so the anniversary would have been on the 25th actually. Oh, payday. Uh, but I, so I'm out already 17th. <laughs> I didn't even make it. So that is my news. 
The other news is the job, the new job is not related to writing in any way. Um, that was one of the other things that I was supposed to be working on is, is trying to find a job that is writing related and do that. But I'm going to take this position and it's a contract position. It's six months and we're going to see what happens. But I feel that at least it's a baby step up. So that's what I needed. I just needed to make more money and I can do more things and not feel miserable in this. So I'm happy. And that's my news. Yay! Let's move on with our weekly spread. It's a new week. October 20th. through the 26th. So this section is going to be my intention of the week. And I may, probably not this week. I think, uh, I don't wanna give myself too many things, um, but I think probably next week I want to start doing an intention of the day i don't know um but maybe not in this journal i have another journal that i use uh, and you saw it uh, that i use for my journaling prompts and brain dumps and all of that this is more of the business journal <laughs> so uh so i don't want to get too much into like intentions and affirmations and all of that in this journal uh but i think i might just do a little daily thing too just just something short like you know, I intend to uh, say one nice thing to someone today or something like that. But this week we are focusing on raising our standards. Okay, this is my intention of the week. I intend to remind myself to set higher standards for the way I spend my time, the people I interact with, the food I eat, and how I move through the world. Large sweeping gestures are often what we think of when it comes to changes, but the smaller changes will prepare and strengthen me to do what I have to do. Hmm. So here's where I will put my goal for the remainder of the quarter and the remainder of this year. I didn't know. I knew that I would accomplish the goal. I just didn't know that things would turn out the way that they have and that they that everything would just kind of fall into place so quickly. So now what do I do? Like, I, I didn't think ahead. So I really don't have anything to write here, but I want to put something. So I'm going to put prepare for the next chapter. I wrote too big. I feel, you know, I want to keep this spirit of, okay, now I have a new job, but it's not the job. It's not my forever job. So what am I going to do next? Now I'm kind of at an in-between point. So I need to figure out what my next moves are and how I can, uh, yeah, how I can get into something that would be closer to a dream job for me. So this section here, not any sort of concrete things that I have to do in any specific time frame. These are just things that I want to do in the near future. So I will start to put some sort of timeline or deadline for these things, but it's just right now kind of uh, maybe a loose kind of wish list of things right now and then this is going to be left empty and i just i just write random ideas and things as they come to my brain maybe i'll use my new highlighters <laughs> then our next section here will be our habit tracker and then our to-do list so I try to write these uh, habits in the order in which I do them in the morning. So that way at night, when I go to check off the little X's to show that I did the things, I can. it's easier for me to recall if I did those things. So sometimes, ooh, hope that didn't mess up my mic. Sometimes I have to write myself, if, if I see something that needs to be changed, then I'll go ahead and make myself a little arrow uh, just to show that, okay, maybe I need to put this up here 
because it would make more sense for me to do this first and then you know what I mean so I try to do that and then sometimes sometimes this is always a work in progress I have things that I've had here for months but then I have things that I just experiment with and I try out for like a week and then I see I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do that thing so I go ahead and cross it out so yeah that's what happens there sometimes and yeah that's how I do my habit tracker now it's time for my to-do list oh wow <laughs> I it's just kind of hitting me that my schedule is going to change now that I am not going to be working on Sundays I'm gonna have like a normal Monday through Friday work schedule I, I don't even know what to say so I don't even know what to put here uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna revisit Sunday <laughs> I really I hmm. you know what actually it'll change to my writing day because yeah because that's how it was for <laughs> i'm really lost okay so uh originally i had it that friday was youtube day because that gave me a little buffer so i could like get the video together edit all of that and then saturday would be writing and journaling and stuff so <laughs> could I... i'll go ahead and make that that's what that is okay oh, i'm gonna put some hearts I love myself okay and now we will start on Monday Monday has not changed at all it'll have still three check boxes this coming Monday though I don't plan on doing too much because it's the first day of a new job I don't anticipate trying to make myself do too much outside of just surviving the first day <laughs> you know, you just got to get through. And I got my calendar stamp. Yes. Beautiful. I like to put some space for the following week. So we have October 27th through November 2nd. And come down a few couple more lines and then we do November 3rd through. I can't do that. And down here we have November 3rd through the 9th. There we are. Look at that. All right. And then I am going to. Okay, so we are on. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this color. I was doing an orange for fall, you know. Here, I'll put some little, no, let me use a different color. Oh, and these markers, they have two tips. So they have, oh, that's more of a fluorescent. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so if I need something a little brighter, and then, oh, also have this. So it has a chisel, so it has a chisel tip, and then it has a pointy tip. So that's pretty cool. Can I put this? No, I cannot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about all these colors together. I'll figure, it's, it's fine. Uh, the beauty of doing the weekly spread is that I only really have to look at it for one week. So I can put up with these weird color combinations that I have here. And I keep the rest very minimalist for that reason because I don't want to get sick of it. So anyway, so I just want to thank you all for joining me as always. Please like this video if you found it useful and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. 
and please leave me a comment all any a combination of those things would be wonderful and that really does help my channel it helps me know what types of videos you like and what i should make more of and also it helps uh, make sure that other people see my channel because the YouTube algorithm is our friend. So please, uh, let's, let's be respectful of the algorithm. Okay. Uh, and I just thank you all again. And I hope that this was all helpful to you. And also I wanted to let you know that next week is going to be Halloween in the United States, October 31st. And for that, uh, for our October 27th video, it will be Halloween themed. So if you're interested in that, I hope you join me or if you don't care or know anything about Halloween, maybe you join me anyway. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you start to think about some of the standards that maybe you can start to raise for yourself in your life. And I hope that you come back. I hope you join me again very soon. I give you the upside down wave, upside down wave, goodbye. Have a good week.